Hey everyone, what's up? It's Queer to you, and welcome back to another edition of Let's Play Flash Games. I have not done this in such a long time, but I felt like I wanted to do it today. Anyways, today we are going to be taking on Turbo Golf, which is a very fun, very quick little Flash game. Uh, as you can see, I've already unlocked pretty much mostly everything. Uh, most of this is locked at the beginning. The only thing you get is this and then the shirt and pants. Um, and the same will go here. Uh, Sonny Andrews is locked when you first start the game. I Again, I've played a lot, so we'll just go to Stony Beach and show off. Again, pretty much everything's locked except for the beginning stuff. You got your drivers, irons, putters, shoes, hats, power-ups, which I do not use very often. You see I have one life to unlock. And then your balls. Your big, hairy, meaty balls. Did I unlock everything? Oh, I didn't remember doing that. That's weird. Anywho, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started on a quick game. I don't think we'll be able to get through an entire game in this video today, but just give you a good glimpse of what's going on. So obviously what you want to be able to do is hit the ball as far as you can. Um, with that power bar, I probably should have explained it before I shot the ball, but I was too eager to jump the gun. Uh, as you can see, there's gray, dark green, and light green. Uh, gray is 90%, dark green is 95%, light green is 100%, and if you saw all the way to the right, um, Hey, I did it. If you saw all the way to the right, there is a yellow, and that is 110% if you can hit it within that range. Now, the goal of the game is to get into the hole as fast as possible. You're not taking turns. You're not waiting for people. You're trying to do it as fast as you can and as little shots as you can. The reason for as little shots as you can is because you, um, each shot that you take adds on an extra five seconds to your total time. So say you do it in, like, five shots on a par four, but the guy, like, who finishes after you does it in three shots, he still might beat you because... You've got an extra 25 seconds to account for, whereas he has an extra 15. So that actually makes a big difference. You want to be able to be accurate, and you want to be able to do it as fast as you can, just like the way that I'm talking. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to another hole real quick. We got the car park. The car park! And we're going to hit for the fences. Um, obviously, you've got to unlock everything. Um, oh, I missed. Well, that's poopy. Uh, the dark green patches there are actually the rough. And then if you see those little things... that cars are parked on if you hit those you'll get a bit of a speed boost and that's really nice i'll try to hit one real quick for you guys so that you can see it and i did it yep so you get a little bit of a speed boost there and that's probably not going to end well for me probably going to overshoot this yep definitely overshot it yeah i've spent quite a bit of time with this game um i really do like it i think it's fun i think it's addicting and i think it's just something quick to you know well, not get the blood pumping. I don't know why the hell I would say that, but <laughs> um, just just to kill some time. You know, it's about it takes about 10, 15 minutes to get through a round, um, and it's very simple, very good idea. I really like the execution on it. Um, I think it's done very, very well. Um, the only thing that is buggy with this game, and I will show it off in the next hole, um, is one of the f is this function right here and now, and I'll show you why it's kind of buggy in the next hole. And I don't mind taking the hit because, like, I don't really care because I've already unlocked everything. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go on to the next hole, the graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> There's, it's a little buggy. Um, other than that, I mean, it's your standard UI, how far you shot it, how far you need to go, the wind, which I never care for, you know, the par, your number of shots, your time. You got your power-ups over here, which I never really use. I guess I'll use one in a minute just to show it off. I really don't remember what power-up I even have. If you hit the zombies on this hole, it's a pain in the butt and you're not a happy camper. You gotta hit this as quickly as you can once you use it, and it's good. And it's good! The field goal's good! Oh, I hit the ho I hit the thing. Also, those zombies. Also, there should have been music during this. I guess that's one of my qualms with the game. Oh, come on. You gotta hit that. Come on. Come on, Alice. You gotta hit that a little, f <laughs> a little harder. Um, okay, I thought the sound just cut out, and I was like, uh, why did you do that game? Excuse me. Uh, hello, is the game dead or is it happy? Uh, that's going in. So here's my qualm with it. If I click end now, everyone finishes, and all of a sudden, you know, everyone did a lot better than me, when they probably should not have done better than me. Um, that's my one big qualm with this game, um, is that they didn't, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, just for saving time and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm kind of just like, uh, that shouldn't happen, you know? Alright, we're gonna do this hole real quick, hopefully. Oh, get through. Oh, you did it, homie. Oh, do not fall to the bottom. I do not want to hit it up. 
Yeah, so pretty much it's just golf with a twist. And, I mean, it's a really addicting game. If I were to give it a rating, I'd give it a solid 8 out of 9. Or 8 out of... <laughs> 8 out of 9. Let's make my rating scale 8 out of 9. No. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Um, very good game. Very well programmed. A uh, few things here and there that I would probably change a little bit. You know, the music cue, the end now function is a cool idea, but it is kind of buggy and doesn't work very well. Um, that's Those are really my only big things with the game. Other than that, it's the execution's good. Um, and that's about all I can say about it. So let's go ahead, knock this sucker in. And beat the crap out of these guys. We'll wait for them to finish. Because we're nice competitors. Ooh, that one might go in. Yo, he did it. I'm so proud of him. But, yeah. So, now we just got to wait for these guys to finish up their rounds. There's one more there. And skidoosh. He made a go. What a what a trooper. What a super trooper. Oh, my goodness. All right. So now that we've done all of that, um, this is where we are going to stop for today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I will leave a link in the description to this game. You can find it on most game sites. Um, I prefer to use Not Doppler, so I'm probably going to put that one down there. Um, if you have any feedback for the series, I don't think I've asked for this ever before, but um, I do want to start trying to get back into it, and I think it's a good series to show off, showcase just some of the good free Flash games that you can ha have fun with. Um, while you're just hanging out doing downtime. I feel like um, Flash games don't get enough love on, on YouTube. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next edition of Let's Play Flash Games. Bye bye